I always looked at, at his mummy and I said, this is no mummy. Today, that we have evidence for the first time of the oldest uh, man ever mummified. Mummies, the most coveted and highly valued relics, provide a glimpse into a world that has remained a mystery to many of us. They pave the way for some of the remarkable discoveries that continue to astound us even today. We know that mummification, the preservation of a body for the afterlife, was devised by ancient Egyptians who believed that a person's soul continues on after death. They thought that a mummified body was a place or house for the person's spirit to return to after death. This was done to give them eternal life. Tombs are without a doubt one of the most exciting finds that can be uncovered in archaeology, the final resting place of lost kings and emperors. Because of the individual's legacy and reputation, determining the burial site of remains is extremely historically significant. However, researchers recently discovered a mummy in Mongolia that may be an alien. Could this signify that we've finally discovered an alien body? Join us today as we examine some of the mummies unearthed in Mongolia. Mummification was carried out by expert priests. During the mummification procedure, all internal organs were often removed, except the heart, since the ancient Egyptians thought that the heart is where the soul resided. The cavities were then filled with chemicals and spices to keep bacteria at bay, and the corpse was wrapped in salt to dry out. After 40 days, the priests would wrap the body in linen bandages and recite spells over it. After the procedure was completed, a mask was placed over the mummified body's head so that it might be identified in the hereafter. In Egypt, there are hundreds of mummies, some of which are 33,000 years old. King Tutankhamun, also known as King Tut, is one of the most renowned mummies dating back 30,000 years. King Tut, an Egyptian pharaoh of the 18th dynasty, died at a young age. He ruled for over 10 years. The cause of his death and final days are still unknown to the rest of the world. His mummy was discovered in 1922, over 30,000 years after his death, by Howard Carter and one of the expedition's participants, Lord Carnarvon, who died a few months afterwards. His death also rekindled the mummy's curse legend. King Tut's mask is one of the most recognisable images in the world, explaining much about ancient Egypt. Rumours have also circulated for centuries about other tombs, and if true testament to the competence of their kings and queens preservers, many have claimed that when opened for a few short astonishing moments, the individual appeared to have only just died, or in some cases, appeared to be so well preserved that they were still alive also alleged to have decomposed in the air before the discoverer's eyes. This has been observed all throughout the world from England to Antarctica, but tangible documentation of the occurrence is still absent. But now, researchers have claimed that the excavation of six tombs in a cemetery in Inner Mongolia that is 1500 years old has yielded a coffin containing a body clothed in silk and a silver bowl painted with figures of the Greek gods Zeus, Hera, Aphrodite and Athena. According to archaeologists involved in a series of investigations exploring the cemetery, the discoveries illustrate the wealth that were transported at the time over so-called silk roads or trade networks that crisscrossed Asia and Europe. This mummy, if publicly displayed, could be as historically significant as King Tut's. It was recently discovered within Inner Mongolia a sparsely populated but vast expanse of land. This find was carefully researched and surprisingly, while having an extraordinarily strange form, was photographed relatively little, a common sign we see when a discovery is made that includes civilian assistance, but once the controversy that a discovery may cause is recognised by the powers that be, these civilians are quickly notified that their services are no longer required and the details of its discovery are kept confidential. An artwork on the coffins outside depicts a blue-roofed building supported by red pillars. In the centre of the house is seated the occupant, surrounded by his many white-faced attendants who are standing or sitting and wearing round hoods, the archaeologists said. The exaggerated face and body proportions of the main occupant distinguish him sharply from the attendants. 
This discovery is similar in many respects, including the apparent media blackout that has descended on the tomb's occupant. It should be mentioned that the contents of the tomb, as well as the actual sarcophagus-esque tomb itself, are now proudly on show in public. However, the individual who was discovered within, which now appears to many to be the remains of an ancient alien, has been kept under close surveillance. Any efforts to obtain additional study or picture of the corpse have been futile and no others have surfaced. Could this be the remnants of a real ancient extraterrestrial, perhaps a visitor to our planet who died, or a survivor of crashed ancient alien craft regarded as a god by an ancient civilization? We are fascinated by such possibilities. But this was not the only unusual discovery made recently in Mongolia. Some time ago, archaeologists were present with an extremely rare situation when they uncovered information about a remarkable discovery made in the area north of Mongolia, close to the country's border with Russia. This discovery belonged to a mummy in a rather good condition of preservation and with various personal belongings that indicate a little about its past. The age of the find, according to experts, was more than 1,500 years old, but that was not the biggest draw. The unexpected happens when they disclose their initial pictures, which leave all specialists startled when they find what looked to be tennis shoes with an Adidas brand likeness. This finding made headlines around the world and everyone wanted to know more about it. Since then, the mummy appeared to be between 1000 and 1500 years old. All of the traits pointed to this find being from that era, but the shoes didn't fit and appeared to be part of their belongings. Archaeologists were so taken aback by the mummy's modern footwear that they sought the advice of a fashion expert who was astounded by the quality and level of stitching of the footwear, which was previously unheard of. Overall, it looks elegant and I wouldn't mind wearing it now that it's cold, a local fashion expert said. Those high quality stitches, the bright red and black stripes, the length of the boots, I'd like to buy them now. But where did this mummy come from? It was discovered that she was a woman between the ages of 30 and 40. It is not outside the realm of possibility that the fatal injuries sustained by the facial bones were the direct cause of death. However, scientists are unable to determine whether this woman fell or was attacked. Archaeologists discovered 51 artifacts in her tomb, including an embroidered purse, four garments, a saddle, vases and sewing equipment. All of this was accompanied by a ram skull and the remnants of a horse. This woman is thought to have lived in the Mongolian region of Altai circa 1000 AD and is now on exhibit at the National Museum of Mongolia, where she is one of the most popular attractions for visitors. Is there evidence of time travel? Everything points to the mummy being authentic, but no one understands how those shoes got there. Many believe she was a time traveller with enormous authority among her kin, and this was a memorial to her funeral. Beyond the shoes, the find may appear minor, but it is significant for archaeologists because it is the first complete and well-preserved burial ever discovered in the area, providing an unprecedented glimpse into the life of the Turkic people who traversed Central Asia and Siberia during the 6th century BC. This is an unprecedented Turkic burial because it tells us about their ritual beliefs, which we know little about, said B. Sukbata of the Kovd Museum, who discovered the tomb. It was three meters deep and 2,803 meters above sea level. The individual was still covered in felt. Although the museum prefers to leave room for question, they would not confirm or reject whether these shoes are indeed from the same mummy. A few months ago, images of her legs were revealed in which these sneakers were clearly visible which in actuality would be boots rather than sports shoes, as the Siberian Times claims. Nonetheless, the specialists assured that they had a high value for the marked ornamental level because the colours employed at the time were extremely unlikely to be seen in that region. Archaeologists uncovered a massive burial cave in Siberia's Altai Mountains in 1949. Inside, experts discovered the remains of a woman and a man, as well as numerous rare historic relics, including a large amount of cannabis, the world's oldest carpet, and an exquisite chariot. The man was between the ages of 55 and 60 when he died, according to the ancient mummies, while the woman was roughly 10 years younger. The man was a leader or king of the Pazaric culture, which flourished in the Altai region between the end of 600 BC and the beginning of 200 BC. 
the two bodies were in good condition because they had been frozen in ice for thousands of years in the Bolshoi Ulagan Valley. Scientists are currently learning more about the two mummies using cutting-edge technologies. The purpose is to understand more about the dead royal's life and what led them to die. Both the man and woman were of Caucasoid type, said Soviet archaeologist Sergei Rudenko, who oversaw the original excavation and discovered the wonderfully preserved skeletons buried in ice. Their hair was soft, the man's a little curled and dark, the woman's hair is dark brown, their faces were long and thin, and the male had a prominent aquiline nose. Both bodies were mummified with the same technique. The skulls were trepanned and the brains were extracted. The intestines were removed by a cut in the abdomen from the ribs to the crotch. Both the man and the woman have several unique tattoos that portray genuine animals rather than fantasy monsters. The woman has several tattoos on her forearms, but none on her shoulders. A predatory bird is killing a deer or moose on her left arm. A cock is in her hand. She too exclusively had actual creatures depicted on her skin. The majority of the grave's valuables were looted in prehistoric times, but two carpets remained, which are the oldest in the world. Let us know what you think about these mummies discovered in Mongolia.